From a clean slate to the cleanup at the end, these teens created something from nothing with no restrictions. Jane Stewart, the art instructor for the Teen Art Zone, didn't focus on what instructions she could give, but what the students could come up with. It also, the other thing I like about it is that it allows the youngsters to be part of creating something that they understand it to be the way they see it. It's not being modeled by an adult. It's modeled by them. Stewart has been the coordinator for the Teen Art Zone for two years. She takes high school students on a tour of the gallery before letting them loose to create their own art. From their feet to their hands, fingers, paintbrushes, and lots of water and paint, these students were encouraged to reflect and create. And for this student, that was better than coloring books. Instead of like coloring in a coloring book, you just get to make your own pictures because sometimes you don't really like what the coloring books have to offer. Dessin was a part of a group of 11 students from Katimovic, a student volunteer service program in Canada visiting Fredericton. They were impressed with the freedom of the class and the instruction from Stuart. Even through a piece of scrap paper, the instructor gave a positive spin. Can I show everybody? This was just used for testing his pastels. But look how nice it is. It's its own piece of art, yeah? It's good. Stewart's philosophy of teaching also depended on the other senses. With music in the background, listening and reflecting were important to this kind of creative exercise. The Teen Art Zone usually gets about 15 participants each month. Stewart says programs like these are important in Fredericton because of the city's reputation as the cultural capital. While other programs like this do exist, Stewart says this one stands alone by allowing students to see great art, reflect on it, and make their own for free. For Sioux Journalism, I'm Liz Dale in Fredericton.